everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with another hot taste. That's right, it is hot taste today. Another no makeup edition. So sorry, recording this at lunchtime because I'm just running behind this week like anything. Today's hot taste was from some Happy Mail. I've taken the yellow band off of this and I haven't popped the actual top yet. Uh, this was part of a lovely gift basket from Miss Amy Jo. And this was part of a Happy Mail from Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. I will link that video up here where I got my Happy Mails because it was so very cool. This is from Louisiana. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to open this up. It says to shake it. So I'm a shaking. Okay. Got a little bowl to put some in here. Does not smell particularly hot. That can be deceiving. It's very chunky. Lots of seeds in it. Mmm. Should be interesting. Got to get enough to taste in there. You know what I mean? All right. One of my little rice bowls. Mmm. It'll have to go in the fridge afterwards, which is fine. And, um, okay, what does this say about this? This is Dat Sauce from Louisiana. A little bit of hot with a whole lot of flavor. All natural hot sauce, which is one reason it has to go in the fridge once you open it up. It's got vinegar, onions, water, red onions, sugar, crushed red pepper, salt, garlic, tomato paste, xanthan gum, which is a thickener. Uh, onion powder and garlic powder so all stuff that you can pronounce which is pretty pretty cool and I have gotten some on the outside so uh, where's my napkin there's my napkin I'm always a mess y'all know that right I have some pretzels open I don't actually even have any chips around right now which is a shame you know but uh, got some of the mini Snyders that I actually picked up at Dollar Tree a few weeks ago. But sometimes you can do that. All right, let's try some of these suckers with some hot sauce. Then I might just take a spoon and take some too because you know how I am. Mm -mm. Y'all taste it anything hot lately? Oh, and stick around. The uh, winning draw for my hot sauce giveaway will be coming up at the end of the video. There will be a clip. Oh, it smells really, really good. Hmm. All right. I got to taste this straight up. Hmm. That is nice. It is not super hot by any means, but it does have some zip. It's nice and chunky. It's not like a, a really liquidy sauce. I mean, it's a, it's not syrupy by any means but it's not just a liquid you got seeds in there it seems like there's some pepper mash in there some onions in there mm. definitely on board definitely fat chick approved i am looking forward to having that on a bunch of other stuff and mixing it with stuff there, there are recipes in a little flyer they sent which is cool so i can find out Of course, I've got the one in my hand that's all tied up nice and neat like a bundle. And taped. Come on, that sauce. You don't got to tape everything, all right? Uh, oh, the recipes aren't in here with this. They're with the other part of the box, but you can go to their website and get recipes for all of these things. Roasted chicken, guacamole, wings, popcorn datsaucela.com slash recipes is their website. That is quite yummy. Dat sauce is yummy. Should I taste the ketchup too? Yeah, I probably should. This is dat ketchup. Deborah proof packaging. We all know how that is. Oh, what? I got into it without scissors? That's a first. All right, let's give it a little shake and it does have to go in the fridge after opening of course I always refrigerate my stuff after I open it not everybody does but I do Ooh, okay let's just put some in a spoon hang on let me clean the spoon off this is an all-natural ketchup oh and it's got some lovely chunkiness in it okay 
not very different on the ingredients than the hot sauce, but just different ratios of everything. Mmm. That is delicious. It's a little more mild than this one. Still has a nice little zip to it. Um, yeah. You can also get free music downloads at datsaucela.com. Okay, some country music thing that I would know nothing about. But that is actually quite yummy. I could, oh, on a burger, on some fries. You know you're going to put it on some fries. I would dip my chips in it. I would dip my pretzels in it. Mm -hmm. Very, very yummy. As I chew in front of everybody. But, you know, that's some good stuff. I will try the syrup at another time. Looks like a flask of whiskey, doesn't it? It's syrup, though. And these little guys from England. These are knickknacks, nice and spicy. It's what it says. Uh, let's see. We believe in no artificial colors or flavors, no MSG, cooked with 100% sunflower oil. Intensely tasty, unusually knobbly. Knobbly? All right, we'll see. Oh, I was able to get into it. That's two in a row, y'all, two in a row. I was expecting something darker colored for some reason. They look like just some light Cheetos with some knobs, yeah. They remind me of something and I can't put my finger on what. I've had something similar before. Mmm. They're pretty yummy though. Maybe it's in some of the flavorings that are in here. It says it has barley, malt vinegar, barley malt extract, soya sauce, and wheat flour along with it. And there's curry powder in here. Curry powder. Maybe that's what I'm tasting that's a little bit different. It's really good. Lisa told me well, she doesn't care for these. Send them all to me then because I'm digging them. Hmm. All right. Knickknacks nice and spicy. Definitely fat chick approved. Are they really spicy though? No. This is another one that it, chili heads are going to be like, yeah, it's a kind of a Cheeto, but they're very tasty. They have a little tiny bit of spice to them. Not much at all. But enough to help the flavor and be like, yum. And they're like the, the Cheetos that aren't the puffed ones. That's what they're shaped like. Hmm. That's it. My mouth just identified the curry spice. That's what it is. Yes. Loving this. Loving this so much. This is absolutely delicious. Not a chili head hot, but just a good flavor. You know, give it to your babies or whatever you chili heads. But the rest of us will like this. Um, and the ketchup. Mm, natural ketchup is so much different than like the bottled Heinz type stuff. Because, yeah, there's so much difference in the processing. And there's so much less sugar in this one too. Because of the way it's made. And it's made with real sugar. Go figure. So... What have you tried that's spicy lately? Or just differently spicy? This, it says nice and spicy. Maybe it's spicy by, you know, English standards. <laughs> but it's not really spicy, but it has an interesting spice to it. I really, really, I love the curry in this one, the curry flavor, that, that's what I'm finally settling in on. Hmm. All right, you will see the clip of whoever won. I don't know yet because I haven't done it uh, for the hot sauce at the end of this in just a bit. Thank you all for coming by. Please uh, hit the like button if you, if you like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. I invite you to do that. I invite you to bring a friend over because we do hot taste every Wednesdays. Tuesdays is snacks around the world. Uh, Mondays we take some time for tea. 
Saturdays, it's the vloggy thing, which is catching up on crochet and life and all, and all the stuff. And uh, yeah, always a good time around here. At least we hope so. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for the winner. Bye, y'all. Okay, I told you that there would be a little clip at the end with a giveaway, and here it is. Now, I have already put the URL, the URL, in the box uh, for the video with the hot sauce giveaway. There's the hot sauce, and watch till the end for how to enter. Yep. And uh, there it is. Okay. I have filtered duplicate users because it's only one per person. If you enter multiple times, it'll just filter out one and you'll just have one. And it wants a math question answered. Five plus three is eight because I can math a little bit, apparently. I'm going to get the comments. Now, there was a question involved. How many comments were there? 39 unique comments. Okay. I did ask a question and then I realized afterwards that there were multiple answers to that question. Um, so I, that's why I'm not filtering by a specific text in this one. The question that I asked was, who is the actor that plays a young Spock in Star Trek, the 2009 Star Trek? Now, the answer I was looking for was Zachary Kinto. However, the fact that I said young Spock, some people went even further and went for the, uh, the young actor who played him. And I forget it right now, but a lot of people had that answer. Let's scroll down to those other comments. Do, 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 do. Jacob Kogan. That's who it was. I even looked it up and they were correct. Absolutely. Just because it wasn't on my trivia card, that's okay. Both of those answers make sense. So here we go. For the hot sauce, y'all. But you do have to be a public subscriber, so I will be checking that. Sweet Pieces Inspirations. What does she say there? Ooh, hot sauce. My mom used to watch Star Trek when I was younger. Jacob Kogan played young Spock. Thank you for a great giveaway. Yes. I will take that answer, absolutely. Let's double check and make sure that uh, she is subscribed. Sydney, I believe she is, but we have to check the magic glowing smart box here. Easiest way to do this is just scroll all the way to the bottom, especially when you have a ton of subscribers like I do and like Sydney does. Um, all the way to the bottom and do the search instead of looking through. Okay, now we're going to uh, switch hands with this. Sorry for the wobble. Control F. Start typing D E B R. There I am. Ta da. Debra. Cro Debra. Crochet life and stuff with Debra. So, sweet pieces, inspirations. Email me, hon. My email will be in the description box down below so that I can get you your hot sauce and maybe something a little extra because I know you are a crochet person as well. And, um,. Yeah, thanks to everybody for playing along. This has been a ton of fun. And uh, don't worry, there are still more giveaways being drawn the rest of the week. You still have time to get in. Bye, y'all.